What's going on everybody, Dialorix TV back with another video. So I had to do this video real quick. And the only reason I'm doing this video is because I just seen this title on um, Odd Couple between Rob Parker and Chris Broussard. And the title said, the Lakers must trade Russell Westbrook at all costs. And I just wanna get a, a clear understanding of what problem would that solve by trading Russell Westbrook? Russell Westbrook, if you trade Russell Westbrook, you're still going to have the problem there. See, they don't understand that LeBron James is the problem. He's almost 40 years old. He's the slowest one out there. He plays no defense. So no matter who you have out there, LeBron James is trying to get his points. He refuses to take a back seat. You Do you understand that at a certain time, Kareem went to Magic? They had an understanding, whether it was Jerry West, whether it was Dr. Buss, set them down and had a clear understanding. Kareem was aware of the fact that he was old as dirt and he was getting older. So in order for us to win, Magic Johnson will have to carry the torch. He will have to be the face. He understood that, but LeBron James doesn't want to do that. He still feels like he's the king. He feels like he's the real King James from the Bible. So he refuses to relinquish that. He's still going out there chasing scoring titles, still going out there trying to just score all these points. He's leading the league in shot attempts. So what does trading Russell Westbrook do? Please tell me. Now, I would prefer the Lakers to keep Russell Westbrook. And first, before I get to that, I have to keep reminding you guys of the fact that Russell Westbrook has played well everywhere else. But as soon as he teams up with LeBron James, this is the worst that we've ever seen Russell Westbrook. LeBron James only scored two points in a game where this team needed him versus the Pelicans. The Pelicans aren't the Warriors. They aren't the Phoenix Suns. They not the Clippers. They not the, the Mavericks, the Nuggets, the Utah Jazz. We talking about the Pelicans, bruh. You're LeBron James. You're supposed to empower and Make the players around you better. Why is he making the players around him better enough to be able to make it to a play-in tournament? If he couldn't get you to a play-in tournament with Russell Westbrook, who's a top 75 player, then what makes you think whoever they add, like why does, why does LeBron James need to add any more players? He couldn't even get to a play-in tournament. You want him to just keep adding stars. You just want to keep getting him help. The Lakers must trade LeBron James at all costs. They're about to get a new coach. You're about to get new players, new talent. What is what is that going to help? They have to trade LeBron at all costs. I see people, there are many people around there saying, well, what do you trade LeBron James for? Nothing. Just give him away. At this point, just give him away. I don't even care. Let him walk. Let him go. OK, but even still, give us Colin Sexton. Give us give us Kevin Love. Give us give us some players. Give us some draft picks. You know what? Y'all don't even have to give us no players. Give us draft picks. That's all we need. Just give us the draft picks for LeBron James. Cleveland, take them. Any team, just take the draft picks. But the Lakers must trade us. They must, The Lakers must trade LeBron James at all costs. Jeannie Buss, Jeannie Buss has a decision to make. Jeannie Buss has two options. It's either it's about the money or it's about winning. Take your pick. So you either trade LeBron James and focus on winning because you can't win with LeBron James or you sign LeBron James to an extension and you just lose and you're going to Ruin your fan base because I'm leaving. Well, I ain't going to never leave, but I'm going to flame LeBron James. He ain't going to never hear the last of my voice. Never. 
His assist totals are going down, which means he's not looking to facilitate. He's already surpassed Karl Malone. So who is he going for next year? Kareem, genius. Kareem. Nobody wants to play with LeBron James. Steph Curry. He didn't say, well, you know, maybe, you know, maybe consider it in the future. He basically ended the statement, which they cut that part out, was basically it's a fantasy. It will never happen. Steph Curry will not does not want to play with LeBron James because he understands that his game will suffer playing alongside LeBron James. Even you look at the game, you look at the All-Star game. It was Steph Curry was having a career night in the All-Star game. LeBron James was desperate to get that last shot. You know why he wanted to get that final shot? Because the conversation was all about Steph Curry lighting it up, scoring about 50-something points, putting on a masterful performance, entertaining. The greatest shooter of this time will go from the greatest shooter in history, the greatest shooter of all time, to the worst shooter of all time playing alongside LeBron James. They must trade LeBron James at all costs. He's toxic. If you lose anybody that comes to play with the Lakers, stay away. Until LeBron James leaves, please stay away. I'm warning you, all the superstars, all the all-stars, stay away. I'm trying to help you. LeBron James will ruin your legacy. He will make you have a mental breakdown. Your hair look nappy like mine. I'm trying to help you. You don't want to deal with that. I'm telling you. Every superstar, every every player that's coming up, Kawhi Leonard was like, no, I don't want to play with him. You come there next year, Anthony Davis is going to get injured. Nothing's going to change. He still had Malik Monk. He's had Carmelo Anthony. He's obviously got a lot of control within the franchise. If you come there, then guess what? You're going to lose. So I'm trying to warn you, he controlled the coaches. He controls the GMs. He has too much power within the league. You're always going to be looked at as the wrong one. He gets the credit, and it's y'all fault if they lose. If you if y'all lose, it's y'all fault. He takes no blame. None. So I'm warning you to anybody that wants to come play with the Lakers, have second thoughts. Go elsewhere. I love my Lakers, and I love them enough to say Everything that we need to hear to tell them the right things. LeBron James is bad for the game. Stay away. No matter who you trade for, trade Russell Westbrook solves nothing. Jay-Z said it best. It's like spraying, it's like spraying air freshener on a trash can with LeBron James.